<laughs> Grand illusions on the biggest scale are coming to Detroit thanks to an illusionist who has headlined in Las Vegas for 15 years at places like the Bellagio, Mandalay Bay, and Mirage. He's also been the recipient of the Stage Magician of the Year Award from the Academy of Magical Arts. Tomorrow night, he will be at Detroit Musical Hall. And we are welcoming back Rick Thomas to the show. Good morning, Rick. Good morning. Nice to, nice to be here. Thank you. Uh, it's good to have you. What is it that sparked the magic in you and had you want to do this? Well, I'll tell you, first of all, it's hard to st uh, follow Star Wars. That's modern day magic, that uh, special effects. We do it all live. And when you do magic live, even with magic on television, it's very far different. People will watch it on TV and there's still some uh, television tricks you can use. But when we pull it off live, that's when it rocks. All right. Well, how do you pull it off? I know you can't give me any secrets, but. Uh, very well. I don't know how else to answer that, but I can tell you that um, when it's done live, uh, there's usually not very much uh, mechanical going on, you know, and it's just it's just old fashioned, wonderful, grand illusion. I just promise to blow you away when you get out there. This is uh, I can watch myself. This is amazing. You know what? Everybody wishes or hopes they could float or fly. And as you can see it, that's exactly what we will be doing for you the, right there in Detroit at the Music Hall. So uh, when you were coming up, uh, I'm guessing that you and I are relatively the same age. Were you uh, enthralled by uh, Doug Henning and David Copperfield and Penn and Teller? Absolutely. Uh, but I actually grew up in the ballroom dancing community, so to speak. My parents forced me to watch uh, Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly. And people are like, Who, who's that? Uh, as generations go on. But uh, I was uh, influenced by amazing entertainers, uh, including, of course, David, who is a, a personal friend of mine as well. So it's nice to nice to look up to people and then finally get somewhere yourself. Uh, and I just appreciate being out here. This is going to be a fabulous show, not only uh, for me, but we promise for you as well. And uh, uh, not to forget the ladies, uh, don't forget Ginger Rogers had to do everything Fred did, but backward. So <laughs> <laughs> you are so right. And the man, you know, people say, how, do, how what's dancing like? And it's like a matador with his cape and the matador moves all over the place. But the capes, what uh, the, the woman is absolutely the flair of everything. And my wife, Tara, she's actually from Zimbabwe, born and raised there. She came to Las Vegas to try out for my show. She is the star of my show. You will find no more stunning individual than Tara on that stage coming up. And um Man, I'm excited that we're both here. Well, I hope she's watching because you just scored some major points. Uh, what can people expect <laughs> from one of your shows? I know it's a broad question, but. You know what? I'll tell you this. The show is about following your dreams. It's the mansion of dreams and nothing happens until you dream. And it's important to realize that the magic is going to be the finest that you're going to see in the world. However, we have two hours together to just enjoy each other's company and presence together. And I want people to walk out inspired follow their dreams, make those dreams a reality, and just have a great two hours of their life together with me. And that's what I promise. The magic's gonna be the best you can imagine, but at the same time, it's about the relationship I have with the audience. That's what I promise you. You know, it'd be funny is, uh, I don't know how you end the show, but maybe if once you, and, you know, it ends and you go off stage, everybody's applauding stuff. When you come back on for an encore, just pull a rabbit out of a hat, like a one-off gag, and then just leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, do you like uh we only got about 15 seconds left do you like being on the road or do you like being in vegas both i go out on the road to get it out of everybody's system my cast and crew says let's go on the road then we're on the road and they go can we go back home yeah that makes sense <laughs> it is it's tough we are working our tails off to be with you here in detroit two days driving to get out here a day to set up the show don't miss this this is we got a lot of people behind this working really? so hard to make this a perfect night for all of you all right real quick where can people get tickets i don't know <laughs> It's like a magic I don't trick. Work here. <laughs> uh, Detroit, Detroit Music Hall. Call, go online. Oh, um, it's it's the Greek Town Greek Town Casino is actually putting it on. They're representing the show. Okay, that's good. So uh, I go there. Okay. Hey, thanks for the time. This was fun. You guys rock. Thank you so so much.